Hey everyone, it's Amateur Beauty Guru, or Lauren, either one, I kind of switched that up there. Um, but yes, I am here today to show you my makeup collection, and yes, you can see the background there, but I'm going to uh, do my room tour soon, hopefully. But anyway, for the makeup collection, thing that everyone points out first is this is definitely not to brag it really is not to brag and two my mom always says or he still says yeah she always says that there is gonna be someone who has more stuff than you and there's gonna be someone who has less stuff than you and we're all equally treated or something like that I don't know but you get the point it kind of goes along the lines of I'm not bragging or anything so, um, yeah, I guess let's just get started. So, um, enjoy the video, and yeah. Okay, so, um, my desk area is in the closet because my room is kind of small, so we found room in my closet. So, it's just like a regular desk. It's supposed to be like a working desk, but we made it obviously in a vanity. And the first thing I want to show you up here is my, like, wall of stuff. And for some reason, I have no idea why, but I like collecting bags. Like, the bags that you get from, um, where you shop from. So there's, like, a MAC one, a Bath & Body Works, a Sephora, a Victoria's Secret, um, American Eagle, another Sephora, um, an Ulta, Hollister, Abercrombie & Fitch, stuff like that. And then there's just, like, random, random, random stuff. So these... This is a list of the videos I still need to make. Um, don't even ask about that. That's just kind of random. Um, those are some concert tickets when I went to see Rihanna. One of the best concerts I've been to, which is, <laughs> yeah, the only um, concert I've been to. So, yeah, no. Um, headbands, like some random necklaces and stuff. Um, some wood flowers, all this random stuff, so nothing too exciting. And then we come down to here. I guess I'll start with the fun stuff. So first on top, I have some like little mini palettes. This one, I'm not sure who it's from. It might be Clinique, but I can't say that for sure. And um, yeah, here, let me open it. Okay, so... Ooh, yeah, there you go. So there's like the colors. Um, I don't use this palette very much because it's, I don't know, they, it's not very pigmented. So yeah. Then I have an e.l.f. beauty book. And this one is in the smoky eye edition. How to open that. And really pretty colors. I haven't gotten a chance to really use this, but I know I will soon. And then my 88 color palette from BH Cosmetics, and someone pointed this out. They didn't spell spell matte eyeshadow, right? Like, the matte part? There's supposed to be an E at the end. So, yeah. I don't know what that was. Um, okay. So, this first drawer. This first drawer consists of, um, eyeshadow palettes. Like, it includes Maybelline's quads. I have two of those. Um, some Clinique ones. Um, a Wet n Wild, some more Clinique. These ones I got for Christmas. I think they're like from Claire's or something. Um, there's some of these that, uh, these two are creams. Uh, I got a little MAC Quad. Some more of those, I, I can't say that it's Clinique. I'm not sure what it is though. Um, some Ulta. Put this back. Oh, and something. I don't know what that one's from, but I think it's a singular one, so. Yep. So that's that. And then the second drawer is all my singular, um, duh, what am I looking for? Eyeshadows. And I kind of, like, put this in a certain way. So down here are my MAC ones and, like, my MAC paint, my MAC paint pot, uh, Bare, Mineral Bare Minerals one, some Maybelline ones, got two of these. Some Clinique, another, what is this? This is actually L'Oreal, but it f fell into, like, the category of drugstore. Some Sally ones, and a Victoria's Secret powder, and a Sephora, and a Jane. I don't know. I got that from my mom. And then, also in here are, like, some random little crayon things from Ulta. 
Next is my lip drawer, which is very kind of bare. Because, first of all, I don't have any very many lipsticks, but I do have two L'Oreal's, an Ulta, and a Clinique. And then down here are all my lip glosses. And these are definitely not in any particular order, but they're just some um, Revlon, Revlon, One Mac, uh, Wet n Wild, um, a Sally's. What is this one? Um, I think this is like an off brand or something. So, um, an Ulta, stuff like that. So, trying to get that door bigger. Next is like all my face makeup, which I don't use a lot of. So here's like some concealers, a powder foundation, a bronzer, which is kind of dark, but I use that sometimes for contouring. Some um, pads, some uh, foam things to put the powder in. And I definitely need to change those out. This is some stuff I use around my nose because my nose gets dry. This is a concealer as well, but I usually don't use this because it's very oily. And then my favorite foundation at the moment is CoverGirl's... Hold on, let me get it to the light. Focus. CoverGirl Natural X. And I'm sorry that's not focusing, but it should be. Sorry. It is an iPhone, so I don't can't be perfect, right? I don't know. Okay. Woo -hoo -hoo. Next is mostly my blushes, which also are very vacant. I have a MAC one. A flirt one from Kohl's. I don't even know where I got that one. An Ulta. Oh, and this is a MAC highlighter. It is um, not sold anymore. Um, that's what I've heard because I looked around because my mom got this and I had no clue what it was, to be honest. And then I found out. Um, a cream blush. And then here I have a Urban Decay potion primer, which tape is on there because I dropped it the first day I got it, which was kind of sad. And this was from my friend Elsa. And then I got a Clinique moisture thing. I don't know why I got that in there. Last drawer, I have all my mascaras. Um, I do have a, oops, I do have a lot because I'm not sure. Some of these I probably could throw away because you're not supposed to have them over three months. Um, anyway, I have some liquid eyeliners. One's in navy, and one is, why isn't it focusing? I don't even know why. Um, anyway, a navy one and a black one, and then I have three e.l.f. eyeliner, liquid eyeliners. I know I put this in my bad review, and I kind of have to take that back because, you know, they have been giving me good use, and I got used to the applicator. Then I have um, some, this is a liquid eyeliner from, uh, no, 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 no. where is it from? Hold on, let me find it. CoverGirl, there we go. Um, an eyeliner, a curler, a sharpener, a MAC one, and an Ulta one. So yeah, that's what I have in that little area there. Then, panning over, I have um, some nail polishes. These aren't all my nail polishes, but just to point them out, I have like, um, this one's a top coat, and then I have a, I have a, a base coat from, whatchamacallit, oh, uh, what am, OPI, there we go. Then an Ulta one, I wanna, I'm gonna paint my nails this color next. It is in Lost Without My GPS. Anyway, and then I have my black shatter, which I'm really loving. Um, this is Serena Williams. It came out with Serena Williams, and it's a it's called Simply Smashing. My teenage dream one, and another Ulta one. And also, here's my lamp. It's very bright, obviously. I I think I keep saying obviously. I'm not sure, but on the base of this, I still haven't taken the tag off for some reason. But I have some um, tweezers and some eyebrow like shavers which I don't usually use just when I'm like desperate and I need to shave my eye like the unibrow area and then I have a hair tie then here is my um mirror and hey you can see me hey um yeah then next I have my two barrels of um brushes so these are all my face ones oops dropped a nail polish these are all my face ones, and these are all my eye ones. And go check out my video, um, my, um, 
Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a name. My brush, makeup brush collection. There you go. Then over here is like my perfume area. But first I have like some Vaseline over here and some brush cleaner. Then also I have these nail polishes and little mini ones. And they're like all in there. I don't usually use these because they're a little dark. So I'm going to wait till winter. And then over here is like two body splashes. This one's from Pink. It's in Fresh and Clean. This one's Dark Kiss. Then I have a lotion. This one is Love Spell by Victoria's Secret. Then I have a, another lotion in Japanese Cherry Blossom. Um, here I have Vera Wang's Princess um, which, ah, perfume. I got this for my birthday and I'm really loving it. And what's really cool is if you take this off, if I can take it off. There we go. So if you take it off, like this little thing comes off and you can like wear it as a ring. And also another one comes off and you can also wear that as a ring. Isn't that cool? That's neat. So it's like a two in one kind of thing. Okay. Then here are my like three favorite um, perfumes as well. That one's getting to the top. I'm going to tell you now. But um, this is in no particular order. So G is definitely not my number one. But um, Juicy G from Harajuku. And this one's a um, Victoria's Secret. Then back here are... This one's like a little spray. Um... Love Spell by Victoria's Secret. And I usually don't use this to make myself smell good. I usually make it for my room to smell good. Yeah. Then this one's the body splash that I'm still trying to get rid of. Maybe, you know what? Maybe I'll do it a giveaway when I get 50 subscribers. I don't know because I'm getting close. Anyway, and then here's my messy closet. You know, just a guitar and hold on, let me turn on. There. Now you can see. Then see, it's kind of messy down there. So I'm not going to look there. So. Yes. I, ooh, ooh, I'm falling. I'm falling. So, yeah, I hope you like this. And again, it is definitely, definitely, definitely not for bragging reasons. And another reason is because I'm kind of bored. So, yeah. So, hope you guys have an awesome week. I hope you guys had a good spring break. And check out my next video. Um, check out my other videos. Uh, and maybe subscribe if you would like to. And I'm going to see you guys later. Okay, thank you guys so much.